Hey everybody, how's it going? All these other DJs are shooting videos in their car, so why not? I'll give it a shot. So this past weekend we had an event in Utah called FanX. FanX is like Utah's Comic Con and people from all over the place come over, they dress up, they meet their favorite actors, and it's just a lot of fun. And my company, a few years ago, we were asked to, like, perform at FanX and, like, provide karaoke for the attendees. And FanX is, like, a big deal. Like, it's all over the billboard, so everyone in Utah knows what FanX is. So that was just, like, a huge opportunity for Clout to take this. And I could put that on my website and be like, we serve FanX. So I was really excited. But then I realized that most of the people that work for FanX, even like the people that like Planet and on the committee, they are all volunteers. So their budget was very limited, significantly lower than what we would normally charge. So with some negotiating, I was able to reduce the amount of service they were expecting and increase their budget a little bit. But still it was subsidizing a little bit. Because I wanted the gig and I wanted the, the bragging rights to say we've played at FanX. And so we've done it a few years and things went pretty good. Didn't make a ton of money, but that's okay. Um, but this year, like, everyone that can do karaoke in my company was unavailable, including myself. And on top of that, I've just been thinking about, like, dropping karaoke as a service altogether. I mean, it's been awesome for getting like certain gigs that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise if I didn't offer it. And karaoke is just a lot of fun. It's a nice, fun atmosphere, especially for private events. But karaoke can also be somewhat of a headache. I mean, you have to constantly keep the catalog up to date. You have to train new people on how to do it. And it's a little bit complicated. And so I decided to just pass up on this gig. I mean, for sure, I could have, like, hired it out, but there just wasn't much budget, so I think I would have had to pay most of the fee to whoever I hired it out, so I'd have to take all the liability without much reward. So I, I did something that's just very antithetical to the direction I've been doing, kind of that Grant Cardone sales bro type of thing, that 10x mentality. I, I turned down the gig. The 10x mentality is that you just say yes to everything and you figure out a way to make it work. But I've just realized that that is a good mindset for growth. But sometimes, like when you're growing a tree, you don't want it to grow in certain directions. So you prune it to the way you want it. And that's like what a business is too. So when you're first starting out, I think growth in any direction is good. But then you start realizing like, oh, I don't really want to go this direction. I don't want to go that direction. And, you know, I've... I like karaoke, but I think I enjoy other types of events more, and it's more of a headache than it's worth in some situations. So, yeah, I did the unspeakable. I just said we weren't available, and I referred to them to one of my really good DJ friends who I know will do a really good job and take care of them. And I gave him some tips on how he can negotiate like a even a higher pay than what we were getting, because you know inflation, everyone expects to pay a little bit more year to year. So. Yeah, I I think that was kind of a big breakthrough, just saying no and just realizing that I don't really like doing karaoke all that much. And there's other companies that do a fine job and I can just refer them. I, I don't need a referral fee. It's just a gesture of goodwill. You know, you get what you put into the universe. So if I'm giving them some stuff, maybe they'll send something my way. If not, that's okay. As long as the client gets taken care of and people are able to sing to their heart's content. So what about you? Is there a time that you turned down a gig? Let me know what you think down in the description below. And please smash like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.